And this is, this is good because it fits my whole bougie on a budget, you know? Because these are actually relatively affordable bar stools, but they look bougie. And I like, I like the expensive look. The tasteful looking one. The glam. That's it. I like the glam aesthetic. That's my aesthetic for apartments. Okay, let me, I gotta shift this around a little bit. Get it to line up a tad bit more. Might have to undo this one. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna unscrew this. Got a little, little wonky. It's okay. I stick with it. Da, da, da. All right. And then just gotta shift this guy over. This guy is to cooperate. All right, let's see. Gotta unscrew each one. I think that's the that's the trick. It's like you gotta not tighten them all until they're all all of them are in there, and then you tighten it. I think that just works better. Okay, so we go in here, tighten this. Super easy. I like I like things that are easy to assemble. This thing is like really pretty. It's gonna go up fast. Okay. And then tighten this one, and voila! There we go, we got the first half of one down. So you can see this is so far, and then we gotta just put the little stand to hold it up, but this is what it's gonna look like. So isn't it pretty? I like the blue, I'm a blue, blue baby. All right, I'm gonna set this over here, the little box. And now we're gonna go in, do the same thing, this other one, so these are the little, the bottoms. I really like gold. You know, gold is a good color because it can kind of warm up a space. I love watching Architectural Digest. I don't know if you guys watch that at all, but I'm a huge fan of watching like all the crazy homes in California, especially, and just like fantasizing about one day owning one of those homes. So that's where I get a lot of my interior design inspiration. You know, and also I just, I just like art. I like things. I feel like having a good aesthetic in your house is important or your apartment or wherever you live because, you know, we spend a lot of times at our home. It's, so you gotta make it feel homey. You gotta make it feel like it's you. And I feel like it, you know, the aesthetic affects your vibe. You know, we want all the good vibes. All about the vibes. <laughs> so... You know, gotta make it, gotta make it cute. All right, let's see, where is the hole? <laughs> there we go. All right, so we screw this in. Make sure it's all nice and lined up. So I'm just gonna kind of loosely screw each one in so then that way it's just, they're more lined up because I don't want to have to undo them again like I did last time. So I'm just gonna screw those two, and then we got two more. So, this guy, and the other guy. All right, easy peasy lemon squeezy. This is actually one of the fastest projects I've worked on. I remember when I had to set up my, uh, my balcony, the, I had, I got this like little futon, not a futon, but like a sofa thing. That took me like probably a good four hours. And then the flower wall that I've been working on, I'm still working on that. That's, I've been doing it for a couple of weeks now. So that one is just takes a lot of patience. All right, so we screw this in. I like this, okay. We screw it in. Nice and tight. Yeah, these are cute. I almost debated getting them in pink, but I, I think the blue are nice. And they say, this is gonna sound kind of, kind of messed up, but they say blue is a good like meal suppressant so you feel less hungry when you look at blue, as opposed to like yellow and red like excites your taste buds. That's what they do in marketing. So, you know, I don't want something that like stimulates me too much so I overeat. I'd rather just have colors that make me not want to eat as much 
Not that I have like an eating issue, it's just, <laughs> uh, I think it's good to understand color psychology. Okay, so now we have number two. Now all we gotta do is we gotta put the little, uh, the bottoms together. So for this, we have these here. I'm just gonna put this on the floor. And then let's see. So this is supposed to go up like this. I'm just looking at that instructions. Warning, please remove plastic cap during assembly. Okay, so we got to take this top part off. There we go. And uh, plastic cap. I don't know if they're referring to the bottom as well or what. I don't think so. Okay, so this just, oh, I guess it just sits in. You don't have to screw it in or anything. It's a very easy assembly. We like that, we like that. All right, so I'm gonna bring this back over here. And then uh, let me turn the camera so you guys can kind of see a little bit better. And we got this. So I think we just, just plop it on. I think that's it. It really is that simple, wow. That is probably the easiest thing I've ever had to work on. Okay, all right. And then um, that's it, that's it. Then I guess, does it pump up? Does that work? Oh, uh, up we go. There we go. So this is the, as high as it goes. Let's see how low it goes. Wait, I gotta test it out now, ready? Here we go. Ah! Whee! <laughs> that's fun, I like that. Very, they, they have a, it has a wide range. Like usually chairs, I feel like they don't, they don't go up that much, but that's cool. Yay, we like that. All right, let me bring it up a little bit. Gotta get it level with my, uh, my little table. So this one's gonna go here. And then, uh, yeah, I gotta move my keyboard back. I had to, I had that out for, I was like doing, doing, yeah, I was playing it earlier, but usually it's facing this way, so I'm not, like trapped in my kitchen basically but you know when you live in a studio apartment you gotta gotta make it work so that's why I have my keyboard in the in the kitchen it's a little unconventional but go tasa what's that <laughs> but it works okay now we gotta take this one off and this thing is tight all right get that off and now we just I like how easy this assembly is it's like it's just really simple you know not a lot of not much work. All right, press that in. And now we got the second one. So we got this. Let me put the cardboard out of the way. Oh, man. And uh, here we go. All right, and then gotta put it up. Yeah, it goes all the way up to here. And then if we go down, 